Lay and Chris Meeker from Sanford Health about U.S. aging vaccine grant as well as adult vaccinations. Good morning to you both. Thanks for being here. Let's start with this grant, U.S. aging grant. What, what is that? What does that cover? So this grant um, through U.S. Aging was um, given to Sanford uh, to provide um, assistance with vaccine events across our entire footprint to increase the access um, of those vaccines. Um, so through that grant funding, we're able to support the cost of our events and then um, to help promote those events as well to increase awareness for certain underserved populations. Is it a million dollar grant, right? Correct. Yes. Talk about your footprint because you guys cover <laughs> a pretty big area. Yes, so Sanford um, covers North Dakota and South Dakota, but then also parts of um, Minnesota as well, and then within um, parts of Western Iowa. So a huge area. Yes. And talk about um, who this will help. This um, is really intended for various different underserved populations. So we can look at our aging populations and then individuals with disabilities, but then also refugees and immigrants and then our Native American population or other minorities as well. So, so kind of those underserved communities. Yes. When we think of vaccines, I think a lot of us think of babies, right? But you, we're talking adults. There are a lot of adults who need some vaccines. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. You know, you're, you're exactly right. People do really think of vaccines uh, for children, but there are uh, quite a few vaccines available for adults as well. And I'm going to feed off a little bit of what April talked about. This really is about health and wellness and preventive care. Um, people in medicine and, and physicians and APPs often get a lot of criticism because they think we don't do preventive care or preventive maintenance. Vaccines are fundamental to preventive care. Um, vaccines prevent cancers, uh, vaccines prevent serious illness. You know, just today, uh, I look at my uh, hospital every single morning and we've got 10 people in the hospital with COVID. We've got five people in the hospital with influenza. We have two people in the hospital with RSV. And so these are real diseases. And part of the uh, vaccines that U.S. Aging uh, Grant uh, helps cover are those three vaccines. It also covers vaccines like Shingrix, uh, which is for shingles. It covers the hepatitis B vaccine. It covers pneumococcal vaccine. Uh, it covers hepatitis B vaccine. So all of these are, are very important to the health and wellness and, and preventive care of adults. When you mention RSV, that's something, I think babies, but adults can get that too. Yeah, it's interesting because you know, RSV has been around in adults for a long time. We just didn't have the ability to test them very well. There has always been an RSV test, um, but it, almost an adult never got it. It used to just admit people to the hospital, for instance, with a, with a viral illness. But now uh, the test we use that diagnoses COVID and influenza also covers RSV. And so now we can actually more accurately diagnose RSV in adults. And that's got to help the treatment if you know exactly what the problem is. Yeah, particularly on the preventive side, because the RSV vaccine is recommended kind of in consultation with your physician or your, or your primary care provider. Um, you need to talk about if it's right for you. Um, it's recommended for those over 60, primarily if you have some uh, other uh, comorbid conditions as well, um, other serious medical illnesses like heart disease or lung disease or diabetes or high blood pressure, uh, those sorts of illnesses. Are these vaccines that have been around for a while or any of these new? The RSV vaccine is brand new. Yeah, and just so, like within the last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so th there's a number of different um, uses for the RSV vaccine. For instance, there is a, an indication for pregnant mothers um, between 32 and 36 weeks, between the months of September and the end of the year, kind of during RSV season. And even in adults over 60, it's probably going to be more of a seasonal vaccine where you want to take it before the uh, RSV season starts, because RSV is very much a seasonal illness, at least with respect to the big spike. Sure, that makes sense. Flu vaccine, is it too late if you haven't gotten your flu vaccine? Not at all. You actually still can get your uh, influenza vaccine. Would it, would it make sense? I feel like the flu season maybe is winding down or does it never stop? Well, it, well, it actually never really goes away entirely, but it's definitely seasonal. And like I just mentioned a few minutes ago, we have people in the hospital right now with influenza. And you know, the, the shot takes a, a couple of weeks really to uh, build up your immune system. And so yeah, the, the influenza season will definitely go on for a couple more months. Is there anything else about this grant that's new and exciting that we need to know about? Or do you have things planned? Well, um, part of this grant was to really encourage um, going to um, different clinics or then going into our retail pharmacies. So we've partnered with Thrifty White um, to increase that access and have um, those events available. Um, so I think that that's the big piece is just really, um, you know, going either to your clinic and consulting with your physician or going into Thrifty White to be able to receive those vaccines. Okay.
Great stuff. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. And you can get more information about vaccines and about this grant. Find a Sanford Health Clinic near you on the website. You guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks. Stay with us. Thank we'll you. be right back. Mm -hmm.